Hi, I'm Liz Watts. I'm certified to work with small devices, specifically the iPod Touch. What we're going to be talking about right now are viruses. They're not viruses in the sense like a computer gets a virus. Um, the software that would be considered a virus has to be installed on the iPod Touch, something that's also known as jailbreaking. If you jailbreak your phone and then you have glitches or freezes, what you want to do is take that software off. You want to override that software through iTunes by doing a restore. The first thing you're going to want to do is plug the iPod Touch into your computer. This 30 pin connector should come in the box with your iPod Touch and then you'll plug it into the bottom right there. After you do that, your computer will recognize a new power source. The iTunes library will start and open and then right here on the right hand side underneath the devices your iPod Touch should show up. After iTunes recognizes the iPod, what you'll do is click on it and then you will see the restore option. Hit restore and then it's going to make sure that you really want to actually restore the device. Once you do this, it will be put back to factory settings. If you don't have a backup, you will lose all your data, so just make sure and do that. So as you can see, after you restore the device, it's going to be just like it was when it first came out of the box. So you've got just the Apple branded software installed as well as the Apple apps. And that is how you would take a virus off of your iPod Touch.